The wheel on Windover was looking a little worse for wear. The threads had started to rot and the leather had gone brittle. It actually used to be gray and the green was just mold and mildew that had stained the leather. You can see how brittle it is there. I took it over to my father-in-law's shop and the first order of business was removing the double-sided tape that went all the way around the rim. I carefully scraped the stubborn bits with a utility knife. The easiest place to do this kind of work is always on the boat with the wheel attached to the binnacle, but it is minus 10 outside and a little snowy and the wood stove is burning in the shop. Using an automotive buffer with a sponge pad, uh, we are applying the rubbing compound that we used on the grinder to the wheel. Now the outside of the rim is not as critical because it will be covered in leather but we do want the spokes and the centerpiece to be as shiny as possible. you to polish that? Oh probably uh, an hour and a half or two hours. Yeah, yeah. it looks fantastic. Yeah. It our, um, This was covered in leather when we got the boat but the leather of course was very hard and uh, just uh, you just seen that it had, had its time on the wheel. So we've decided to cover it again and uh, we're going to cover it in this leather that we bought and we did look um, online at 
some of the different styles and, and stitches and stuff like that. And we also looked at buying the kit offline, but I think it was about $230 for the kit. And so we thought, okay, well, we're very cheap, so we'll see if we can do this ourselves cheaper. So we went to a local um, upholsterer and he happened to have this brown um, hide of leather, which he sold to us for $50. Um, there's the, the, the suede side inside and the, um, the soft leather on the outside. Um, we, we thought about putting the suede on the facing outside of the wheel, but have decided to put the brown on it. This is Chris's choice of color. Um, and there is also the choice of putting foam underneath. So if you put foam underneath and go around like this, it gives you a softer touch to the wheel. It also gives the wheel just a heftier look, which I kind of think might look cool. We've also decided to um, put leather about three inches down, two and a half inches down each spoke, um, just to give it a more dressed out look as well. What we have to do now is I've decided that we'll cut the smaller strips in here first and um, or we'll sew them first because then I'll, I'll be able to train myself on smaller pieces. So if I make any mistakes, that um, the scraps will be much smaller than if I had cut the big piece of um, leather for around the wheel and made a mistake, that would be a little bit more um, costly. For this project, you're gonna need leather, yardstick, measuring tape, waxed thread, double-sided tape, something to cut on, something to cut with, and your foam backing. I just uh, did a practice shot at the, um, the spoke and the leather, you can see that. Um, anyways, that's supposed to be the baseball stitch, I think. But um, I'm seeing that I'm seeing the stitch in the middle, which is, if it was a heavier, a heavier grade of leather, you wouldn't see that center stitch would be pulled under and tucked under. So I'm not too sure if I'm happy with this or if I'm going to try a different stitch where you'll see just the straight across line. So um, I'll probably cut another piece and try another experimental piece here just to see which one I like let's, better. Let's show the back side of this here. This is what it's going to look like on the wheel. I think it looks great, Deb. I honestly do. Well, I'm definitely going to have to have my sailing gloves to sew this because it's yeah. really, really hard on your hands and your fingers. We can run and grab the sailing gloves. And yeah. I think you'll just get better and better at it. I think it's great. Well. No issues at all. My fingers are going to get sore and sore as I do it, but I think that I'd like to try and see what it looks like um, with the other stitch coming okay. down on the inside of it rather than around the top of it. Okay. So it's more of a straight across stitch but this is really holding it in pretty good i will put a piece of double-sided tape on the back of it which is a very thin double-sided tape so because this is a thinner um uh, a thinner leather if i use the foam tape it sits up a little higher and you would see the foam tape That's underneath right, the yeah, leather yeah. so i'll use the very flat um double-sided tape and then that way you won't be able to turn it so, but because we're just experimenting, I'm not going to sure. put a tape on it. So. Looks awesome, hon. Well, it's all experimentation <laughs> for now. This is our sample, pa our sample um, patch for here. And uh, we measured from this, and we know that we need an inch and three quarters to wrap around the, um, the spoke. So we've measured out an inch and three quarters on the, um, the cutting pad, and we've used our razor wheel just to go up and to cut it. So I have already done that and we've got a really nice cut. You'd never get that with a pair of scissors. So that's where we're at. So we're going to do them in four inch increments and they'll be four inches up the spoke. So um, that step's done.
so now I've cut the um, the six spoke covers. I've actually cut seven just in case I mess up with one. Now I've got to run them through the sewing machine. I'll run them through the sewing machine down each side just to give me the holes. I'm putting the holes in here and then I'll take an awl and make them a little bigger and I'll go down both sides. You can see how the walking foot has pressed, impressed into the leather, but that will lift out. So. making the holes bigger with this um, this tool then I won't have to push the pin through as hard and it's really hard on the fingers and the hand when you know with the pin it's so little and so this really helps it helps me to see the holes too as well Man, that looks good a century ago, really domestic service it looks tighter than mine. This one looks one a little um, We finished the um, the spoke, the leather um, covers on the spokes, and now I'm just doing, um, as I did before, I do a template or I do a sample piece just to make sure that I've got the leather the right size around and then it's going to sew well and fit well. And um, yeah, so this is going to be my um, my trial run. So I have to pull this up on the table. This is a lot of experimentation and, um, you know, trying things out to make sure they're going to work. And before you cut all your leather, of course, you're going to um, make sure your idea is going to work. I, find, I think it's best just to go on YouTube and check out different ideas and then kind of see how they work with your own ideas. I'm pre-punching holes in the leather. Um, so it's easier to get a needle through. It's a little difficult because this sewing machine really wants to go. I like your headlamp. Thank you. Every sailor should have one. And our there. table is a little bit of a mess. What? It's a work surface. <laughs> but, if we look here, isn't that something? And we have them all the way around on all the spokes. Deb's done a beautiful job there. I put two-way tape around the outside of the wheel and now I'm just rolling it onto the foam. The foam is going to give the, uh, the wheel just a softer touch and a thicker look and uh, I think that might look cool. Just around the spokes I'm um, notching out a V in the foam or ob obviously you know my uh, foam is going to bunch up so if you can see here I'm just going to do uh, a V like that basically and then when I put it around the spoke you can see that uh, mm. it doesn't bunch up. I use this little awl to uh, it's right here to make the holes a little bit bigger so you can get the the, the needle through easily. Are you almost but, done uh, with that hun? I'm almost done the first one I've got three of them to do. <laughs> Perfect, because I'm almost ready to stitch it on. Okay. <laughs> uh, she's cracking the whip. Better go. I have put the double-sided tape on the outside, and then I put the foam. Now I'm putting the double-sided tape on the inside, and I'm going to wrap the foam around here. And it is, because it's a bit stiff, it, it does pop off, so I'm just reinforcing it with a bit of scotch tape. I don't know if I'll um, cut that off when I go around. I'll figure that out when that time comes. So there you have it. Looks good. So, yeah. Now the leather is very thin, so 
it shows every little imperfection. Yes, so it does. So we have to be careful. So That's why we heavier, didn't put If we would have gotten heavier, heavier leather, we wouldn't have had that problem, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is a nice, uh, a nice uh, texture of leather to work with, though. So. Yeah, yeah. But, um, okay. Yeah, so. So you got to peel the crossed. backing off of that tape. That's what that red stuff is. Yeah. Just peel the backing we off of it. We can see here's one that I've done. So I'm almost ready to start sewing the leather on. This is how Deb spends her evenings. <laughs> Thank you. Debbie, it looks fantastic. Okay, I don't want to be. It's like midnight and I don't want to be on film. Okay. There. You're doing a beautiful job, my goodness. Well, my arm is killing me. Yeah. Okay. It really so, looks fantastic. Well, I hope it's going to be nice. I'm just starting again on the side of the spoke. So I put a, a knot on this side. I've gone under on the left and back over on the right. And I'm going to repeat that a couple times just to get a good grab on the leather. And uh, that's a good starting point. And there we go. And I'll go back over the top again. And this time then I'm going to go in under on the left again. And this is where I'm going to start my stitch. There we go. And this is the loop that I'm going to go up through. There we go. Remember forward and back a bit and it tightens it up for you. Then again, under on the left, over on the right, and then through that loop again and give it a pull. Difficult, eh, with all that extra thread. The first well, and it's waxed, so it does catch, but I haven't found it that bad to work with. But just remember to do the pulling back and the forward. So, this is like regular sail repair thread, or is this, uh, or is this something special? No, this is just waxed, waxed thread. Oh, yeah, that uh, you just buy in the little rolls. Okay. Just tightening up my last um, st stitch that I did. Now, I'm going to go through again, under on the left, over on the right, catch my loop, give it a pull. Now this is my last stitch as you can see. I don't think I can get another stitch in there. Actually, I'm going to go under this one. just so you can't see it. And then I'm going to go back through just a couple times. And I'm going to go through, through, and just pull that knot tight with my fingernail. And there's the finished knot. We've finished the wheel, and um, there you have it. It's very nice. Feels nice. So um, we are a little concerned how the leather is going to hold up in the weather, so we've decided to put mink oil on it. This will go in the seams and on the leather and protect it from, from the weather. And we do have this underneath uh, bimini, and we always leave our bimini up, so it is quite protected in itself. But you know, your hands are wet, and there's always the rainstorms that come at you sideways. And uh, now it is going to sit inside for another four months, almost, I guess. Eh? Yeah, and I'll probably give it two or three coats of this. Once yeah. this absorbs, that I'll give it another coat, and then I'll wipe it down because you don't want it sticky, obviously. Mm -hmm. So this is just the stuff you'd normally have. This is for, for boots. boots. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it's good for all kinds of leather, even man-made leathers, actually. 
So I didn't buy this. I didn't purchase this specifically for this project. We had this sitting around. We put it on our winter boots. We live in Canada. After all. After all. <laughs> so you can see it does seem to be darkening up the leather a little bit, but that's expected with the, with it. But I don't think it'll change the color that much. Maybe just darken it up a tiny bit. So I said I would probably make two or three applications of this just to make sure that it is in all the seams. And this is the finished wheel. 